If a to the power of 6 minus a cubed equals 182, then what is the value of a? Let's break it down step by step together. First, we will write this equation as follows. a to the power of 6 minus a cubed minus 182 is equal to 0. Now, we write a to the power of 6 as a power of 3. So it becomes a to the power of 3 times 2 minus a to the power of 3 minus 182 is equal to 0. According to the rules of exponents, a to the power of m times n is equal to a to the power of m to the power of n. So we can write this equation as a to the power of 3 to the power of 2 minus a to the power of 3 minus 182 is equal to 0. Alright, let's assume a to the power of 3 is equal to x. So we can write this expression as x squared minus x minus 182 is equal to 0. Now we slightly change the form of the equation and write it as x squared minus 14x plus 13x minus 182 is equal to 0. Okay, we simplify this equation as follows. Instead of the expression x squared minus 14x, we write x times x minus 14. And instead of the expression 13x minus 182, we write 13 times x minus 14, which is equal to 0. Now we factor out x minus 14. And this equation simplifies to x plus 13 times x minus 14 is equal to 0. Alright, we have two expressions that must equal 0. First, we set x plus 13 equal to 0, which gives us x equals negative 13. Then, we set x minus 14 equal to 0, which gives us x equals 14. Now, according to our assumption, a cubed is equal to x. So, instead of this expression, we can write a cubed equals negative 13. And finally, a equals the cube root of negative 13. And also, instead of this expression, we can write a cubed equals 14. In this case, a equals the cube root of 14. Alright. Let's check whether the solutions we found are correct or not. First, we check the cube root of negative 13. The original equation in the question was a to the power of 6 minus a to the power of 3 equals 182. Now we substitute a with the cube root of negative 13. So we get the cube root of negative 13 to the power of 6 minus the cube root of negative 13 to the power of 3 equals 182. Now, this expression simplifies to negative 13 squared minus negative 13 equals 182. And it further simplifies to 169 plus 13 which equals 182. That's great! We have proved that the first solution we found was correct. Now, let's check the second solution. We substitute the cube root of 14 for a in the original equation. So, this expression becomes the cube root of 14 to the power of 6 minus the cube root of 14 to the power of 3 equals 182. This equation simplifies to 14 squared minus 14 which equals 182. And it further simplifies to 196 minus 14 is equal to 182. So, the second solution we found for this equation was also correct. If this video was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and leave a comment. And to see more math videos, subscribe to the channel.